Hi guys. It's about my third attempt at this video. And you're probably wondering what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just trying to pull a screw out of this piece of wood. Um, I haven't done a lot today. I've been researching motherboards. Um, get this piece of wood ready because I have a use for it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to screw this to the underside of my trailer and then put a light on each end. And then that will enable me to have, um, or to be able, I should say, to drop the tailgate as and when I need to. Anyway, I've had a bit of a change around. I've decided to keep that blue gigabyte motherboard under here. Um, I've been googling these boards and I can't find much info on this one. Well that does work and I have had it in a system working fine so I can't remember without um, powering it up or out being attacked by the processor spring <laughs> or the heat sink spring I should say yes yeah, so I just uh, it's an AMD Sempron what I can do is google the number on that and uh, well, that's exactly the same in that one I don't know if the model number is but I can google the processor model number and, and at least I can list what the processor is but we'll have to say in the advert that it will need um, um, a thermal paste, but I will include all the processor with it. I may need to get the magnifier out. But yeah, I'm gonna try an XP motherboard. Um, in that cupboard. Yeah, those three can go back in the cupboard now. Uh, got this to go on because I don't use it. It is charged. It does work. I just don't use the bloody thing. Can't even remember how it turned on. Oh, there we go. Welcome. So I'll take a picture of it like that so it's working. Here you. Oh, see, that is the switch on the top there, just a slide switch. I've got proof how much I've used it. <laughs> yeah, the fire engine has just gone out. And I've just done a complete 360 round the chair for some reason. Oh. Alright, this caught my eye earlier, this article. Um. This young lad had his car stolen and set fire to. Um, but the problem is, over here in the UK, um, when you insure a vehicle, what a lot of young drivers do to try and... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What young drivers do to save money on insurance is put their parents down as the vehicle owner and main driver and then they put themselves down as a named driver. In other words, as the one that isn't the main driver. Unfortunately, what this <laughs> kid did, when his, the car got stolen, he put the claim in for the insurance and told them that it was his car and that he was the main driver and not his mum. So of course when they checked their records and it said on their records that the mother was the main driver they refused to pay out. Which uh, they well within their right to do because technically they lied. <laughs> so what he should have done is got his mum to make the insurance claim as technically the insurance you know it's her insurance 
he's just named driver. Or well, a named, because you can put people on the insurance policy. So you have your main driver, and then you can put other people on it as well. And that's usually cheaper than a young driver taking out their own insurance. Although, if you can, I'd recommend taking out your own insurance. Because you'll avoid problems like this. Especially if you forget yourself. So he's just lost his car and got no money for it. <laughs> Which, um, I do pity him in a way, but... If he'd have used his brain a little bit, that probably wouldn't have happened because they wouldn't... I know it's technically... Well... It's not illegal... But because... He claimed he was the owner of the car and... He was the main driver when he made the phone call... He should have said it was his mum... But, uh... It's just... It was that cock-up that, um... Made the company refuse to pay. So... Keep that one in mind, any British drivers out there. Especially young ones. If you're gonna... Um... Put yourself down... What the hell is that flying around out there? I think I've got a clue. The leaf, I think. The way that was flattened around, it looked like wings. Anyway, yeah, if you're going to put yourself down on your parents' insurance, or get your parents to insure the vehicle for you, make sure they do the claim if you need to claim. Anyway, minimise that and turn that off. Uh, I've done absolutely jack shit, apart from sit around here, stare at a few motherboards and that's about it. My cold's not too bad today. Better, th uh, well, the better day out of four, three, four. I'll say three. It was the first day I just had a scratchy throat. It wasn't sore, it was just a scratchy feeling. And that's when I sort of knew something was, uh, um, something like a cold was, uh, um, forming. Da, 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 da. I have sorted out a couple of tail lights for the trailer. <laughs> use a couple of these. So I'm going to use some, uh, two-core speaker wire, which I've got shitloads somewhere. And uh, th that hole there, I'm just going to screw the lamp to the end of the piece of wood. So I've got to make sure when it sticks out either end from underneath the trailer that there's enough room to get this lamp on there. So that isn't too, you know, twisted because of the side of the trailer. But I decided to go on the end so I can adjust it that way and get it at the right height because the trailer sits at an angle. So the back end is low, so that would mean if I put these on straight, they'll be pointed at the floor. So if I actually screw them on at the ends, I can adjust the um, angle up and down. And then perhaps put another screw in there just to hold them so they don't fall when they go over bumps. <clears throat> but I think a big washer and a self-tap screw would be enough just to hold those to the bit of wood. Uh, and I've got some um, little crimps I can use for the ground wire. Because uh, what I'll do, I'll screw them so this side is out. Actually it won't matter. So long as a washer can make contact there, or at least the um, ground wire makes contact on there, that won't matter. Um, yeah, I could do that later, actually. And like I said, I, I don't need to change the baseboard just yet. Uh, and the piece of wood I'm going to use is only going to screw to the bottom, to the floorboard, so I can soon just pop out the couple of screws, put the new book floorboard in and then pop the tail lights back on. I actually do feel like doing that. I may go down there later and do that. Just for something to do. 
If I can remember where I put the bundles of cable, I've got loads of cable. Same stuff I use on that um, dynamo lamp, lamp tutorial. Exactly the same wire. But I can't remember if that wire was actually speaker wire or um, just old power adapter cable. Some of them are two core. I've got these here. These speak a little bit four of them, and I don't use them, so I think they may end up going in the bin. Because I'm having a large clear out. Because I am getting fed up of having a load of crap. I've actually I've got someone on my Facebook who um has a few charity shops in town. I asked if he wanted this. That was any good for a shop. Um but he's tagged the other lady that runs one of the other shops uh, in my post. So we'll see. They may want it, they may not. It's up to them. They can take it. It's free. So if they can make a fiver on it, then good for them. I don't want it. I just want the damn thing out of my way. Yeah. I'm going to use these speakers. I may cut the wire off and use the wire. Right. So I've got wire. You'll need... I did have a loose roll of it somewhere, but... I don't know where I put it when I did the dynamo lights. What did I cut? Oh, yes. What this did I? Move these tabs because I don't want things going everywhere. Done that more times than I care to count. Right. Need, I think, just the one connector block, but, cross, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do, wasn't I? Um, oh, hello, that'll do, should do anyway, because I was going to put that, I've already got a screw in it, so I can screw it to something. One of them. Right. Now let's go under the bed. <laughs> I don't my eight-legged friend is still under here, but who knows? If I run away, run away screaming like a girl, you know I found him. That's what I want. A small one of those. I've got large ones, but I want a small one. Because I can uh, screw that thing um, underneath the trailer, and I've got a bit of protection from the or for the uh, connector block up there. You see, that at least stop the uh, water splashes and whatnot. And keep some of the damp off. So I'll put that there. That there. Here, here, here. Say hello to the cat. Wrapping the cable, moving area, got two lots to do, print some downstairs. I want you to believe it, I have no idea, I do have some in the It's not ideal, but it will do. Standing knife blade. Right. I think a cut in length. If I just unravel another one of these speakers for that cable, that will be more than enough. So there's one bundle. I'm only going to need a short length to go to the um, box there for me to side. I might have 
but he doesn't look too bothered either. Um, suitable switch, suitable switch. What have I got? That's too big. Not that. Because uh, I want to save those two for my stepdad. If I can, so yeah, I'll use the black one. I suppose if I was really clever, when I made the box, I could put the switch. Uh, I could say cut a hole in the lid and put the switch in that, but the problem with that is the switch is going to get wet. So I'd rather just hide it in the uh, lid of the box. Right. I've got some photos to do. Now I've got wire cuts down there, I've got a saw down there. Just uh, thinking of what I've got down there. Ooh, I'll pied on him more. Give the live feed a refresh. There's nothing on there yet, but it's been a while, so something might pop up. That's what I say. Internal server error. Nope, it's gone down. <laughs> okay, so I won't know for a while where Mr. Fire Engine was off to. Idiot power drive and then causes head on collision. I'm going to sell the stone fly. Now, the reason for that is I've already got a hardtail mountain bike. I've got the Claude Butler. So, the point of having both is even though it is a nice bike. 
so yeah, I think while I'm down there, I'm going to strip the lights off that I put on it. I'll leave the mud guards on because I don't need those. I'll take a photograph of it and I'll put it up on um on um probably gum tree. And I think that's something like an eighteen, eighteen and a half inch frame. I think. I don't think it's much bigger than that. Oh! But uh, I suppose I better do something today. Well, actually, I'm not going to say bye bye yet because I'll do a walk around of the trailer while I'm out there, so. Okay, I'm back upstairs. <clears throat> I uh, got the lights working, as you've already seen in the video. They're attached and working, but excuse me one second. Um, I haven't connected up any switch or anything like that. I just connected the two wires to the battery just to make sure the lights were working. Um. I need to build the box for the battery first. Um, and that's the general idea. I uh, don't know what I'm actually going to make the box out of yet. I've got plenty of ply. And that would be easier to um, build it over at Mum's because we've got the bench saw and whatnot all in the um, in the uh, cupboard. In the fucking cupboard. In the workshop. In the fucking cupboard. Where do I get that from? <laughs> right. Um, I've got my cousin coming around in a little bit to pick this up and drop a laptop off. So, I suppose I better clear some shite off the sofa. Um, get some photos taken. Get another couple of items up on eBay. At least this one and that one. At least these two. Oh, that stung my ass. Um, when I've uh, searched to find out what the processor is, just search the number on top. That's all I've got to do. Uh, I'd somewhere to stick that bloody computer case. Oh dear. Um, I've been outside now, my cough is acting up. Yeah, so I did that. I've got the lights attached. They're all, all the 
wires ran down to the front of the trailer where the battery will go. I may reroute it yet and change things, but it's there temporarily at least. Uh, I'll just put the um, Rally Stonefly up on Gumtree for sale. Um, I'll keep the. There is basically a choice of whether to keep the Apollo suspension bike or keep another hardtail mountain bike. Well, I'll keep the Apollo because it's quite nice to ride. I've still got to get some um, new BB bearings for it, bottom bracket bearings, but I'm not in any rush yet to get them. <coughs> I've actually been coughing and now my headaches. <laughs> um, perhaps going out in the cold wasn't such a good idea, but never mind. I've already had one bath today, but there's no harm in having a second one this evening. Uh, I'm actually hungry, but my cousin's going to be, well, twin now and sort of eight, so I don't really want to be in the middle of eating something when he turns up. So I've got tape stuck to my shoe, hang on. Yep. You get hungry at all? Da, 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 da. Oh, shit. Shit, fuck them assholes. What I was going to say I could make a quick sandwich, but, uh, nope. On account of, I haven't got any butter and I forgot to go and get it, and, uh, I can't go get it now because I don't know exactly when my cousin's going to turn up because he said it could be sooner. So, <laughs> fuck. Um. Oh well. I'll grab some in the morning. That's not a problem. I don't think I've got enough change in my pocket otherwise I'll just zip across to Lidl's. Uh. 30, 40. I've got 50p, not quite. 50p. Um, if I can change parts of it, I've got any more silvers in here, haven't I? No, all coppers. Oh well. Not to worry. I've got plenty of other stuff we can eat. Oh, yeah. Ah, way. The office chair does that. <laughs> Yeah, so I just thought I'd record the ending, if you like, to the video. Um, um, cable for this. No doubt I have, it's just a standard micro USB socket. No doubt I've got one somewhere. Oh, pardon me. Oh. Yes, I've got at least three more photos to take. I've just I've got so much crap kicking around I just need to clear some of it. Uh, enough for the hell of it, I've got a 300 watt power supply on the sofa, I might just try that. Someone might be looking for a replacement for an old machine that they've got going. Or trying to keep running, whatever, I don't know. I think my brain's on another planet. <laughs> uh. My drawer of computer cables. Nope, that's a mobile phone cable. That one doesn't actually belong in here. What else have we got? What's this one? Nope, it's got the wrong connector on it. Nope. 
I've got that one. That's quite a long one. And I don't want to give away such a long one if I can help it. USB turbine something. No idea what. Ah, here we go. actually got Nokia written on it, but it's the same damn cable. I won't know if I pin a sticker off. There we go. It's the same connector. I will make sure that does fit the device though. So it's the standard cables you usually get with these things are short as hell, so... Should... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I see why. Um... A little screwdriver of some description. Why do you think I can use as a lever? thing and it works. I don't travel anywhere to need one. I've got an MP3 player up there that I use if I go anywhere. I'm not going to use it. It's a funky light, but... just got to remember to take the batteries out, so... Yeah. There's another one! <coughs> so... Well, I might as well if I get a few quid for it. Anything else I can see? Just from glancing around. <clears throat> Not at the moment. The only thing I've got a bid on is that indicator lamp there. That's got a bid on, 99 pence a bid. It might go up, it might not. Who knows? Ooh. Right. The bottle can go in the kitchen. I've got no idea what my cousin wants me to do with his laptop. We'll find that out, I guess, when he gets here. trying to decide if I need to go poop before he gets here or not. No, it could have just been a fart. <laughs> oh. yeah, I don't know, I've got, I've got loads of these bloody things. So, <sighs> I mean, yeah, I do want one for my power supply project. You know, something like this is absolutely perfect, but just as an experiment, I'm going to see if I can get something for it. It is a fair bit of weight there, but as long as it's under the two kilogram weight limit, that should be able to go as a small parcel. Um, I don't know if Cousin's bringing his missus with him or not. So, I don't know whether to clear one. I better clear both. Yeah, a bit of that tower. I don't know. 
Is anyone interested in old cases like that? May, just for the sheer bollocks of it, just as an experiment, I may even put this on. CD rewriter. You never know, someone might pay a pound for it. <laughs> as they say, you don't know unless you try. Oh, damn, I could have took that reflector down and put it on the back of the trailer. Oh well. That's a job for another day. Um, I need to get the friggin' bike built. Uh, I need forks. I think that's what I need for it, is forks. We think. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down. Uh, you've seen what the trailer looks like now, all nice and black. I did miss a bit around the tailgate, because I did um, paint it while it was closed. Um, but that don't matter, I've got plenty of paint left. If it's fine tomorrow, I'll take a paintbrush down there and just go over the parts of the tailgate I missed. Um, and then the other parts I've missed or need to touch up. Um, but other than that, as soon as I've got a box that I can put on there. See, I wouldn't mind putting like a little toolbox on the end, if you like. Um... So I can put the battery in, and uh, if I needed to take a couple of spanners or something with me, just to deal with any breakdowns, and I've got a little box I can put them in so they're not bouncing all over the trailer. Um, I don't think the box would have to be lockable because I wouldn't leave the tools in there, obviously. Uh, and besides, if I make it out of plywood, there's going to be no point locking it, because I can just smash it with a friggin' hammer anyway. <laughs> so, it'll just be, a, just be a catch to keep the lid down when I get to that point. Uh, I might see what Stepdad can come up with when um, I'm next over there. Um, I've got some ply here I can take back to Mum's to use. Uh... And if there's any of that black paint left, I could paint it in that just to give it some sort of weather protection. Um, inside and out. So, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to disappear and I'm going to get this video put together. I've got another one on the PC to put together, but I've still got plenty to upload anyway. Um, so... Thanks for watching. Hit the like button or the dislike button, whichever takes your fancy, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more daily videos. Well, almost daily videos. Unless, of course, I'm feeling too sick or I'm busy. But usually, there's a video at least once a day. So, clicky-clicky on the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you later. 